Hi, I'm Sarah from MustHaveMom.com and today we're here in my master bathroom which we've just done a major makeover on and I gotta give a shout out to my sponsor Lois for helping me bring you these tips on how to do a bath on a budget. So today I'm going to show you how you can transform your drab bathroom that you're tired of looking at into a beautiful new bathroom for a lot less money than you think. So I will show you exactly what I did. First, let's take a look at the before photos so you can really see how we transform this bathroom. As you can see from those before photos, there was a lot of builder grade oak in my bathroom. The cabinets were builder grade oak, the trim, the doors. We had a very plain mirror. It was just a large mirror over the vanity. Um, there was no kind of frame around it or anything like that. The medicine cabinet looked very cheap and it just wasn't pretty. So I knew I wanted to do something with both the mirror and the medicine cabinet. And we had some really, really ugly linoleum flooring uh, that had some nicks in it and cuts and it just was not pretty. So I was excited to get some new flooring, make over the cabinets and do something about the mirrors. And I'll show you exactly how you can do the same thing. I'm sure that you have some of that lovely builder grade oak in your bathrooms too. And you don't have to rip them out. You don't have to buy a new vanity or new cabinetry. You can make it over for very little money and just a little bit of time. So first let's start with my cabinetry. Here's my vanity. We've got a double sink vanity and this was all oak cabinetry. What we did was put a bonding primer on the cabinets first. Then we used an enamel, enamel cabinet paint in a shark fin color, and then we painted that over. We removed our hardware before we started, and we kept the hardware the same, and I was amazed at how much just adding a new paint color really elevated the look of the hardware and made it look a lot richer than the oak cabinetry did. Uh, what we did then, we also did the cabinets in the next room, which I'll show you once we move over there but we did them all in the shark fin. This is a very cool color because it changes throughout the day. Sometimes it's got a hint of a blue in it. Sometimes it looks completely gray like a shark's fin would look. So it's a cool gray in that it changes with the light of the day. Now we're gonna take a peek at the faucets that I chose. When we started, we had some what I call hotel faucets. They were very inexpensive builder grade faucets with just the crystal plastic looking pull faucet that I really couldn't wait to get rid of. I went with this beautiful simple faucet in a brushed nickel so it would match the hardware on the cabinets and we also decided we'd mix metals in here. So I do have some brushed silver and I have some oil rubbed bronze in here and they really go well together to achieve the farmhouse look. Now we're going to move on up to the mirror. This was our really plain mirror that I talked about. I wanted to put a rustic barnwood looking frame around it. So what we did with this is bought some pine, just plain pine boards, unfinished. Uh, we took a stain, uh, it was called a Jacobean color, I believe. So we took that and we stained the frame after we built it around here. And then we added these corner brackets, which we did in oil rubbed bronze. And then we installed that onto the mirror. I will have a detailed tutorial on how to do that yourself on musthavemom.com, so keep an eye out for that. Next, let's move up to my vanity light. Lowe's had this gorgeous oil rubbed bronze vanity light, which I believe is very farmhouse style. I love the look of it, and it also gives a lot of light, so it's perfect for getting ready in the morning. And then let's peek over here at our medicine cabinet. We did a miniature version of the same frame we did on our large mirror. So we just did it in a smaller pine and smaller corner brackets and then installed that right on our existing ugly medicine cabinet to make it look a lot more expensive. Then let's move over here to the rest of my bathroom. As I said, we did the cabinets over here again in the shark fin. It really elevated this piece to make it look like an expensive piece. We installed shelving over the toilet. So what we did with the shelves, we got these at Lowe's as well. These were called kitchen shelves. They were in the shelving department. 
So I got two of these rustic shelves. And now to really get that farmhouse look, what you want to do is combine different mediums. So you want to have some metal, some fabric, some greenery, some galvanized metal, and just really mix it all up. Get some glass in there. So then it looks beautiful and rustic. And now we're going to move right on over here. Like I said, we did some mixed metals. We have a bronze shower curtain rod there. And then I just added a simple white and gray striped shower curtain to complete the look. And then we also added a white and gray plush rug just to give it a little bit of warmth in here. And then we can move on to the flooring. So right, <clears throat> we had the ugly linoleum flooring before. We wanted something we could install right on top of that linoleum flooring so that it would minimize the work and really be a quick, easy, budget-friendly makeover. So we went with this vinyl flooring, which looks a lot like barnwood. I love it. It's even got the hammered look of barnwood. And it was really inexpensive. It was easy to install. And it was something that we could do quickly, get out of the heat for a little bit, enjoy our air conditioning while we made over our bathroom. Now this makeover was really inexpensive and I'll show you step by step in my blog post exactly what I used and how you can do it to your bathroom too. So check out musthavemom.com to get all the details on exactly what I used, what colors I used, and everything else. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.